Hi, my name is Dr. Rudra Mohan and through the Oral Health Channel, today we are going to be talking about why dental local anesthesia is ineffective in some patients. Let's start. So I'm going to be talking about this because I've had recent episodes with my patients where we gave them profound anesthesia but for whatever reasons the anesthesia was not adequate and the patient got uncomfortable and their pain threshold was not you know elevated with the normal type of anesthesia that we had to give. So there are a few causes that are broadly classified as operator dependent causes and patient dependent causes for the failure of adequate dental local anesthesia. As the name suggests, operator reasons are very simple. I won't call it incompetence, but the fact that maybe the choice of the solution and the poor technique choice or maybe the lack of practice when it comes to palpating the landmarks, the anatomical landmarks for giving the injections might be a little, you know, the, the knowledge of the clinician might be less, the experience might be less. And all you have to do is as a clinician, as a dentist, you need to go back to the books to read and know, know how to palpate the landmarks and the exact technique the speed with which you need to deposit the local anesthetic and with practice with patience you will get better the second uh, you know category of uh, the reasons is patient dependent reasons which could be anatomical reasons because of the fact that uh, there might be some anatomical variations in the bone the density the foramen of the nerves uh, you know basically there could be anatomical reasons why you might not be able to inject the anesthesia in the previously thought right or correct place at the same time you need to really understand that there might be some accessory nerve supply from different types of nerves especially around the lower nerve mandibular nerve the inferior alveolar nerve there you can have some accessory nerve supplies through long buckle uh, you know uh, you have the mylohyoid nerve at the same time you might be having the lingual nerve and that's why you need to practice this anesthesia you need to make sure that adequate anesthesia is given you might also have pain uh, because of the fact in even after anesthesia because of inflammation or infection as previously thought that the uh, inflammation causes the pH to go down and that leads to lesser unionized uh, um, you know anesthesia because of the acid base reaction between you know the infectious tissue and the infectious environment and you know the local anesthetic which leads to lesser anesthesia being present to act on the nerve also inflammation is more likely to make your nerves more hyperalgesic and that is why you might get uh, you know more excitability of nerves than usual because of the inflammation and also you have other reasons such as psychological reasons such as fear and apprehension for patients two specific techniques that or scenarios rather that are important for patients who have liver cirrhosis or are alcoholic who have their liver profiles slightly deranged you have to really really understand that there is a high likely chance that the, the the drug gets metabolized faster in the liver and because of the deranged liver you know uh, profile that there might be reduced anesthesia in alcoholic patients or patients with liver disease at the same time patients who are undergoing any sort of you know bodybuilding competitions and are on anabolic steroids that is something that you need to really talk to us about because we've had cases of people who were competing in bodybuilding competitions and, on, and were on anabolic steroids and we had to give a lot of cartridges of uh, local anesthetic and it wasn't you know then we had to finally pre-medicate them with something else and that's how we achieved adequate anesthesia and it's very important for you to discuss and disclose your whole medical history or whatever that you're taking or putting in your body before undergoing these procedures so this was today's episode please like share subscribe and do press the bell icon button for important updates if you want to get in touch with me here are my social media handles kindly 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 refrain from calling me directly as i might be busy with patients just drop me a message on whatsapp with your name your location and the common oral health problem that's causing you discomfort please be patient enough for me to reply within a couple of days or two to three days don't get hysterical don't get angry please try to understand that i have i get a lot of calls in the day don't get verbose about it because it's my humble request as a doctor because I also have to take out time for my patients, for my, you know, for my family, for my personal commitments. And with your immense love, the number of subscribers increasing, I'm going to get busier. So please be patient. And if you have any queries, doubts, apprehensions or insights, please feel free to put them in the YouTube comment section. So that's it for today. Thank you.